Hey guys, this is iXtrol at iX with the Rollout Reviews, bringing you another Battle Beatemon review. This time it is the Takara version of Excel Leon. So we'll set this off to the side and take a look at the packaging really quick. On the front here, we have an image of Excel Leon with the stickers applied. It's number 52 in the line, his user Asado, and the old Takara logo before Takara actually joined up with Tomy. So that's kind of interesting. It is rapid fire type, as we can see up there. Some stuff up there there, uh, some stuff on the side here, some stuff on the back. On the bottom here we actually have a parts count so you can see exactly what you're getting inside before you even open it up and build it. Now on this side here it actually has a pretty interesting uh, stat table. Now this is a little different from the Battle Beatemon stat table in the English Hasbro version. So I did some research and actually deciphered these. I can't really read Japanese, but uh, I did my best and figured it out. So the top one here is control, and it has three control. I think it's referring more to accuracy rather than maneuverability here. It has zero power. I didn't even know that was a thing. Apparently that's something that can happen. Anyway, it has five rapid fire, which is expected. It is a rapid fire type. It has four operation, which I guess is referring to maneuverability here. Uh, kind of the substitute for control, whereas control is the substitute for accuracy, translating it to the English version. Now down here, this fifth stat is something kind of interesting. This kanji translates to strategy, and apparently it has one strategy. I have no idea what that means, uh, so it, I, I guess it has one strategy. There, there it is. There's the packaging. Anyway, it comes with one B-Dama. However, it does not come with any kind of target. You know, the Hasbro versions came with an easy pin like this that you could shoot at. If you want to shoot at something with this set, you're going to have to use your imagination because it doesn't come with any sort of pin like that. Uh, you get some extra parts here and an extra spring. So we'll take a look at the spring here. It's actually kind of more funnel shaped, more cone shaped than the Hasbro ones. Um, and whatever reason, it works better. Uh, the, For lack of a better word, I guess, it's more springy. Uh, the metal might be a better quality, it could just be the shape, but you can really tell a difference when you put it on the beat on and uh, press in the trigger. It's kind of cool. You kind of have to experience it, I guess, to uh, get what I'm saying here. Now, let's take a look at the sticker sheet, because it's quite extensive. Uh, I won't be applying these, and even if I wanted to apply them, I couldn't, because as you can see, there are a couple of them missing. Now, it wasn't like that in the packaging, but they just fell off actually. All of the adhesive on these stickers is gone completely. It's all dried up. I mean, it is more than 10 years old at this point, but uh, still, that's a little bit disappointing. Even if I did want to apply the stickers, which I don't, um, it, it's still kind of like a little disappointing. I mean, like old stickers, I guess they just don't hold up. Um, and that came became painfully evident to me with my uh, Battle Phoenix from Super Beatemon that I reviewed a while back. I applied the stickers on that, thinking it to be some kind of like display piece, and that was cool for a while. Some people warned me, however, that the stickers would peel off over time. I thought it was fine, they stuck on pretty well, and I was very surprised, but um, they peeled off. They all just fell off. All of the adhesive, gone. I would have glued them on, but uh, I didn't want to ruin the plastic. Either way, I just kept the eyes and the uh, little vents there on. But uh, the moral of this story, I guess, is that old stickers are no good. So, there you go. There are ways to get these stickers to, well, stick. Uh, you could kind of spray them with some sort of adhesive, stick them on, and then cover them with a clear coat. I've seen that done before. I am not the expert. If you want a tutorial on that, you're gonna have to look elsewhere. Uh, anyway, let's finally take a look at Excel Leo. Excel Leo. Leo. I'm sorry, it was, it was a bad joke. Anyway, here's Excel Leon and it's very cool. Now there are several differences between this and the Hasbro version. I don't have the Hasbro version to compare, but I did have it way back yonder uh, when I was littler. And 
First of all, the biggest difference is that it does not come with these binder sections. Now, I believe the Hasbro Excel Leon only came in a direct hit battle set. So it was this with the direct hit battle armor and did not come with these, which is a little unfortunate because this is really where the entire gimmick behind this guy lies. Despite that, however, back then, this was one of my favorite beat -em on if not my favorite beat -em on I really did like Knight Cavalry, but this guy was probably a surefire second, and now that he actually has these, it's probably my favorite battle beat -em on out of the whole bunch. I really, really like this guy. He is a lion, and that's cool. I really like his color scheme. The black, blue, and silver really works well. Uh, the yellow as an accent to that also works. If he did have these stickers applied, uh, it would have a lot more yellow, and this would look a little less abstract, but uh, what are you gonna do? Now, the Hasbro version didn't have this silver paint. It was significantly less shiny. Basically, the Hasbro version was just this color that you can see on the inside, a silver plastic. But the Takara version takes the extra effort to uh, paint over that. Now, while that does look nice, I'm a little, uh little mixed. My opinions are mixed, I guess, because on one hand, it's shiny. It looks very good. But on the other hand, the nub marks really, really show through. Granted, if you could apply those stickers, they would uh, cover those marks up, but since I can't, um, it's a little disappointing. And, I mean, I wouldn't cover those up anyway, but uh, I'm just kind of throwing that out there, I guess. I guess you could get the Hasbro version and put these stickers from that on this guy. From my experience, the Hasbro versions of these toys, uh, their sticker sheets have held up a lot better with the adhesive. Uh, they don't just completely fall apart over time. So that's good. Uh, he's got this really cool trigger back here that you can kind of hold with uh, two hands here like that and press the trigger with uh, two thumbs, which is very cool, pretty comfortable. Uh, but you can actually hold this like a one-handed grip. Now, I generally don't like one-handed grips, but this one, the way it's designed, is actually pretty comfortable, and, and you have a lot of control with it just because of how long this section is. It actually has enough room for my whole hand, and I can press uh, this elongated trigger here with my thumb. It's a lot. Of, there's a lot of space, and it's actually pretty easy to use. He also has this extended magazine up here with the two little pegs on the side, which obviously accommodate the uh, speed loader magazine binders. Uh, these sections here also support those binders as well. Now, clearly, this is uh, very familiar to the quick loader magazine from the Crossfight slash Crossfire line. It's almost the exact same mold. Obviously, they did remold a couple things so that it accommodates to the Crossfire system. Uh, this one can just come right off and obviously attach to other beat -em on uh, whereas this one kind of more securely attaches to the head. Uh, you can pull this off and attach it to other battle beat -em on but as you may know, the prong sections here that actually clip it in place are not compatible between Battle beat -em on and, and Crossfire. So don't think you're getting a free quick loader magazine out of this guy because uh, it will not fit on these, unfortunately. Now, it works basically exactly the same. In fact, you can see that the binder sections, while this one is, uh, well, they're slightly different sizes, just ever so slightly, they function exactly the same. Uh, you have marbles, spread them across the floor here, and you can pick them up. A single binder holds five of them, and the uh, magazine section here itself can hold five more. So when you plug this in place, it can hold up to 10. By pressing this, it uh, pressing this down, it presses this button and releases them into the chamber. So, uh, so that's kind of cool. Actually, I have to pull this one out here to get it to work, but it will release those into the chamber. I do find it's a lot harder getting this to lock in. As you can see on the quick loader magazine, it just locks in right in place like that. But here, you really have to push, and I cannot see any child actually doing that without breaking the thing. Um, so that's a little unfortunate. It could just be a QC issue on mine. Uh, mileage may vary with that, but uh, it's a little bit worrying. Either way, uh, let's do some tests with this. First, let's do a power test. Uh, for a control, 
I have a, you know, skeleton and uh, I have my BSPV. So we get 2.25 meters per second on the reading there. And with Excel Leon, it does have uh, this section here, which actually alters the hold parts. So in theory, he should be just a little bit more powerful. 2.62, so slightly more powerful, regardless. As for rapid fire, well, he's pretty good with that, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, I'm a little shy for space here, so I couldn't, uh, you know, have my full potential going there, but uh, overall, this is an awesome beat -em on uh, I can't stress enough how much I, I love this guy, uh, especially since it actually has the binders and, and the silver paint is a cool addition. Uh, I loved this guy back when I was younger, and I love this guy now. Uh, definitely one of my favorite battle beat -em on of all time. If you can pick this guy up, uh, the Hasbro version, while it doesn't have the silver paint or the binder sections, is an okay alternative if you can uh, find it for cheaper than this guy, but ironically, the Takara version actually goes for lower prices more often than not. So uh, why not pick this one up? You don't get the direct hit battle armor out of it, but if you have another direct hit battle beat them on, you can just swap the two and uh, that should be just fine. Overall, highly recommend this guy uh, almost more than any other. I love him. Excel Leon. He's awesome. Yeah. So, that is about it, guys, and this is IX Roll at IX, signing off. Excel, Leon, no? No one? Okay, whatever, I tried.